Yo, hello. This is um, your own brother, Ezekiel. You know, and this is another episode on Hour of Transformation. Uh, today I'm coming your way again to share with you um, a message titled, God is Good. And so we are always supposed to give in thanks. God is good. Now, according to First Thessalonians, chapter number 5, Reading from 16 to 18, the Bible says that rejoice always, pray continually, and give thanks to the Lord in all circumstances. I want us to focus on giving thanks to the Lord in all circumstances, that whatever that might come on our way, we ought to give thanks to the Almighty God, because He understands better than what we do. A certain king lived, and this king had a slave or a servant who was serving him. Now, this servant always tells the king that the Lord is good, and whatever that he does is perfect. That is what the servant always tells the king. Now, one day they went out for hunting, and then the king was attacked by a wild animal. Now the servant was able to deliver the king from the wild animal by killing the animal. Now in the course of the process, the king lost one of his fingers. And so after the incident, the servant told the king that our God is good and whatever that he does is perfect. The king said, why is it that if the Lord is good, he has allowed me to lose one of my fingers. So the servant insisted that the Lord is good. The king became very furious. And so when they got to the house, the king ordered that the servant ought to be arrested and be jailed. Now he was placed in prison. And so after some time, the king himself went out alone to hunt. Now when he went out to hunt, he was, you know, captured by savages. These savages are people who use human beings for sacrifice. So when they took their king to the altar to sacrifice him, they realized that one of his fingers wasn't there. And so to them, it means that the man is not complete. The king is not complete. And so they released him that he should go freely. Now, on his arrival to his kingdom, he was so glad that the Lord has caused him to be free. And so he ordered that the servant ought to be free. Now, when the servant was taken out from prison, the king said to the servant, Indeed, our Lord is good. And this is what the Lord has done for me. He spared my life today from those savages. But the king quickly asked the servant that if the Lord is always good and perfect. Why is it that he allowed me, the king, to put you in prison? Now, this was a reply from the servant. He said that, King, you see that when you got there, the people realized that one of your fingers was not there. Now, if you had not arrested me and placed me in prison, I would be the person that the people would have sacrificed. Now, beloved, whatever that you are, there's something that comes into our lives that we find it very difficult to comprehend. Now, I want you to understand that whatever that might come your way, the Bible is saying that you ought to give thanks unto the Lord. When you do that, stay, you will see the hand of the Lord in our lives. Beloved, this is our transformation. Please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please, 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 I'm beseeching you wherever that you are. Just tap on the subscribe button. Don't forget to press on the notification bell. May the Lord increase you as you follow our channel. And may the Lord bless your hand with you in everything that you do. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.